Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth tutorial in the Create a Survival Game series done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies and today we are going to take a look at um, creating some animation for our character and um, this might be quite a long process so um, I don't know if I can fit it all into this tutorial but um, we'll see. So. I've opened up my Unity project and before we get started I just want to fix a few things. So first of all double click on the standard assets folder, double click on the character controllers and now go ahead and just delete the third person controller. We don't really need this, it's just taking up space. And if you want you can go into the skyboxes and delete the skyboxes that you don't need. I'm just going to leave them there if I decide to change it later on. Um, we can delete them when we're done. Um, okay, so I just want to make uh, some folders for our scripts and our animations to make it a little bit more organized. So right click in the assets uh, window in the project panel and create folder. And then I'm going to rename this to scripts. And I'm going to drag the two scripts in that folder and make one more for the animations. So animations, I'm going to drag the attack into that folder. Okay, great. So um, first of all, uh, we'll need a idle animation. So if we go under player and main camera and select our melee, um, this is where the melee system script is attached and under the melee is our maze. And um, simply what we're going to do is we're going to place all the different animations on the different weapons um, because some some weapons might be heavier heavier and then need um, other kinds of animations, slower animations and stuff like that. So um, individual animations for individual weapons. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the animation panel. I have it down here in the project pane, uh, but you can go to window and then just hit animation or press control six. Okay, so now where it says attack, you can click there and click create new clip and just call this for idle and then hit save and hit the record button. And um, I'm going to make a curves in the position Y and I'm going to um, also in the, yes, in the position Y. And I'm going to drag this um, about four seconds into the timeline. Um, and you can just zoom out uh, regularly. Um, so the four second mark there. And I'm going to create yet another key. And the same for the rotation, a key and a key and I won't go into the difference between keys and curves. Um, you can look it up if you want, but um, all right. So i um, just going to make sure that everything is keyframed properly. Yes, that looks fine. All right. So um, I'm going to uh, drag the uh, slider into two seconds and then I'm going to move it uh, the maze a little bit to the left and a little bit up and a little bit and rotate it a little bit to the left also. So um, if we just go ahead and preview this, you can see that uh, it creates, creates this smooth looking motion. Uh, and then it goes back and now I want it to continue on to the other side. So I'll just zoom out a little more um, and just create Again, keyframes at the position eight. And this way I am sure that we'll always return to the point we came from. So uh, add key, add key, add key. And you guessed it, add key, add key, and add key. All right, so you can also just shift select them all. Um, but for now, this will do. Um, so, all right, so if we select them all and hit, hit F, we can get a good look on what's going on. Now slide to six and then 
move it a little bit to the right, rotate it a little bit to the right and move it upwards a little bit. And now if we take a look, this might be a pretty violent idol. Um, yeah, it's a bit too much really. Um, but this is the basics of it. Um, if we go ahead and select all the keyframes, right click on them and say flat, this will, will smooth out the animations just a bit. And if we, um, let me see if we just select all of the keyframes, we might be able to, if we make a new keyframe at the value of 10, just add the keys and we then select all of these in the top and we hold on shift and we drag on this. You can see that we can expand all the others. Oh wait, this is not working. We can, okay, try to delete this again. Oh man, the animation system is uni in Unity so buggy. Okay, so um, we could, you could go ahead and drag around with these and just make it a little bit longer so the movements won't be so quick and, uh, and heavy. Um, make it a little bit more light. Um, but yes, play around with it. I'm sure you'll find something you like. So down here where it says default, you can change this to loop because we want it to loop and you can turn off the recording. Okay, so now we have an idle animation. Um, now we just simply want to add this to a script. Um, but first of all, we need to get this in order. So um, go to project and then drag in the idle where it says attack. And this is just the default animation that it'll be playing. So when we turn on the play automatically, it won't just automatically attack. It will automatically play the idle. Um, and then we can just, if you want, uh, you can shift up these. So this gets to be idle and this gets to be attack, but th that's just me. It's not necessary. Okay, so now go to the melee, double click on the melee system script to open it up in Mono Develop. And in here, you see that we have one line regarding the animation. It's called the animation.animation.play attack. And if we just make a line above that, we can go ahead and make these two lines and um, the dashes. And uh, we can just now make a comment. So these two mean comments. So everything I write here uh, that gets marked with green won't have any effect on the script whatsoever. It's just to organize. So we can just write um, attack animation. Um, and we can go ahead and make a line under and write um, attack function. And we can go down here now. Um, under the if, let me just have a check here. So we can go ahead and make a new line under the if statement, under the closing bracket of the if statement. And here we can go ahead and type that if the maze, oh, if the maze, maze dot animation dot is playing is equal to false, then we want something to happen. So um, this line is really simple. We just say that if the maze is not playing anything, then we want something to happen. Um, and the thing we want to happen is simply that we want to make sure we are playing an idle because this is our default animation. So the maze dot animation dot crossfade and then um, parentheses idle and close it up. So um, it's that symbol. So if we go into Unity now, save this off and go into Unity and uh, check for errors. 
no errors, and then hit play. You can see the idle animation playing and looping. And when we attack, it will go back. So um, this is this is perfect by default. So let's go ahead and create yet another animation. And this will be our run animation. Um, so go into Unity and go into the animation panel, control six, and now select our maze. And then where it says idle, click that and cre click create new clip. And then uh, name it to sprint. And uh, all right, um, so now hit the record button and go to the beginning of the animation. Um, there you go. And as always, keyframe everything um, with the rotation and the position. And um, I'm going to do this really quick. Uh, go to the two uh, second mark and just make some drastic changes, maybe some rotation. And then, oh, OK, let's just quickly make sure that we get back first safely without screwing everything up. So create all the keyframes when you want the maze to be back in its default position. And then in between, we can do all the drastic changes. Changes. So yes, something like that. And um, same going to happen over here. Again, please do this in other applications. I'm just showing it off in Unity because it can technically be done in Unity, but it's, it's definitely not recommended. So um, go over here and make it bounce up again and make it rotate a little bit. So now if we select all of the frames, hit F, right click on one of the points, choose flat and then hit play. Uh, this is not cool for running. Um, this should be faster, so we can go ahead and drag these. And if you're wondering uh, what the difference between the keyframes in the top and the keyframes down here, are, um, the keyframes in the top is um, simply when you select that, you select all the keyframes at that current time. And this is keyframes for different values. So um, if we hit play, Yes, this is much better. I would like some more motion though. I would like it to go all kinds of crazy like this. And maybe be even faster. So half time. And the last one. And then play. Yes, this is this is cool. Um, some weird breaks and stuff. Um, you can take a look at those, play around with them. Um, I won't do all of this now. Um, maybe select them and play around with their smoothing and, and stuff, make it flat or broken or other kinds of weird stuff. But um, I'm sure you can get it to look all right, even inside Unity. So um, hit this, the the uh, the record button again to stop recording. And um, now we can just um, simply implement this in our script. So stop recording and then go back to my develop. And now we're going to type um, f input dot get key. And um, I'll just quickly explain the different get button, get key. Okay, so input.getButton or get button down or get button up um, is simply um, you refer to the presets that Unity has set up. So that could be file one, that could be a preset called jump, and you can make presets yourself too. Um, and this is basically to ensure that it's not just the space bar if you're on a PC, it's also the B button on a uh, Xbox or the X on a PlayStation and stuff like that. So it, it, it can scale. But for now, we're just going to type get key and get key is one specific key. So if get key and uh, 
get key is something that will be called all the time when you um, have the key down. So it will get called as long as the key is down and on the, uh, the down, uh, the, the pressing down the key itself. Um, input.getKey down is simply just called once and that's when is, uh, then is when the key is pressed. And the get key up explains itself. It's the same, but when you release the key. All right, so get key. And then instead of typing this, so typing shift, you can't do that. Um, you have to type uh, because Unity doesn't recognize the key shift. So you have to go in, uh, go and type key code dot sh left shift. Uh, and this way, this way, Unity simply knows what key you, you mean. Um, and then uh, close this off with another parentheses and then curly brackets and some space. And now you can go ahead and type the maze dot animation dot crossfade. And um, the difference between cross crossfade and play, when you say that the animation needs to play, and you have your uh, character is in a certain position, it will just jump from that position to the beginning of the um, position of the other clip uh, immediately. So you can get these weird shifts. Um, but if you use that crossfade, it will um, simply fade the movement. Um, so you won't get that harsh, harsh shift in, in transform. Okay, so that crossfade. And now you can simply type sprint because we have named the clip sprint and then a semicolon. But if we go into Unity, hello Unity, and then um, press shift while running and then stop, you can see that the animation plays itself out before it stops. And uh, we don't want this. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to make a new statement called F and um, and here we are going to type input dot get key up and then key code dot sprint oh dot shift <laughs> sorry and close this off come on mono developers playing around so um, and stop messing with me um, okay so if we get the key up so when we release the uh, sprint then we need the animation to be animation uh, or the maze dot animation dot crossfade idle so we go back to the idle and this way Oh, I mean narrow. Uh, oh, missing parentheses. Back to Unity. Hopefully no errors. Yes, and then hit play. So we can um, sprint and stop sprinting immediately. And the position will go back to the default idle. So this is perfect. Um, you will notice, though, that you can hold down the shift um, to sprint while standing. This is a little weird, so we'll be um, doing some stuff with that uh, later. But for now, this is the animation shift, uh, system that we'll be using um, just to get you started with some cool animation. So um, thank you for watching this uh, tutorial and I'll see you next time. <laughs>